Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. This is your Excel Guru today with a formula called SUMMIF. This is a pretty comprehensive formula and I would be covering it with 10 variations. I have taken an example of a sales rep's name, unit sold, unit value and their amount. And then we will be finding out these totals based on conditions like the name, the unit sold and so on. I have already done these so I'll be doing it along with you and let's see let's go with the example first as uh, the the example over here is of sales rep their names are jack angel then comes x-men then superman then spider-man then x-men again and jack and but obvious superman once again so these are the units these people have sold in these are the unit values and these are the amounts we can do these sums based on conditions like name this formula would start like this sum if I choose a range this is my range we have to understand that range and sum range are different as we go along I'll explain it easily range then you need to choose a criteria since we are doing it by name you can choose a name say Superman click over there or just type in Superman and then sum range sum range is the actual range which you need to sum this range is the range which contains the criteria and this sum range is the range which needs to be summed now I close the bracket and here's the answer 148 I'll delete these answers so 148 is the answer for Superman Superman has sold 148 units so if I can do it by sum if by units sold also sum if by range again would be units sold this time the criteria would again be uh, in the units sold would be say 50 and now the sum range becomes redundant this field because you are doing a total out of unit your range itself so you can close the formula here itself um, I'm so sorry I'm sorry we did a mistake over here is equal to sum if now my range is this and my criteria is 50 and my sum range would be amount I would like to find out what would be the sum if the condition was 50 and I close the bracket and the answer is 50 now comes greater than unit sold is equal to sum if range would be this let's choose a range and the condition criteria would be units sold greater than say 50 we'll take 50 as a standard close comma and what do I want to total the amount column so this would give your answer the greater than 50 is equal to if I want to say less than this is how we're gonna do less than it's it's pretty cool formula less than 50 and comma and my sum range is the amount column this is it now less than is equal to how we are gonna do it we're gonna choose our sum range comma our criteria would be less than is equal to 50 oh 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 yes comma and this is our range and we choose the range and this is the answer we do a greater than some ifs oh this is fun doing excel like this I love it and criteria would be say you have to see what is being done greater than 50 then some range would be the amount column close the bracket oh this one is awesome you want to total everything other than something specific other than something specific so you're omitting something so I'm omitting 50 since that's the standard uh, value we are calculating upon so this is the range comma greater than less than 50 inverted comma close comma 
and you do a total of the amount now if I don't want to do a total of the amount itself I want to do a total over here itself I want a total of the units sold except 50 any any total any units that is other than 50 so this is the answer 453 it has totaled up the all the units sold except 50 wherever it would have been 50 see if I type in 50 over here it has gone down see this is good and this can be done with name also is equal to sum if you choose your range <coughs> comma your criteria is now say I you want to omit Superman and you want a total based on the amount you choose this column and press enter so this is 32,200 everything other than what Superman has done it can also be with name starting with oh that's cool that's for those superstitious people that we have and some if especially in India you have so many people who are so superstitious they will not hire people with starting with their names like s or something <laughs> so <laughs> that, that's true that's true I believe that's true in many other Western countries also so I take a sum range uh, this is the sum range and comma the criteria is that the name should be starting with an S so you type in S and here comes the tricky part you type in a multiplication sign or a star or an asterisk as we say it inverted comma close and your sum range we want to find out the units sold by people who have their name starting with S so they have 198 units sold so S the people with the name starting with S are good <laughs> and we can also have the same with uh, the digits in a character uh, in a name for example S U M I F range is this and I want a total of people's units sold if their name starts with an S however has eight characters following it one two three four five six seven eight only spider-man comes in this category so let us see the answer should be 50 that's correct answer is 50 so this is the sum if formula with this 10 variations pretty useful variations you can try them practice them along uh, better you go to my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com and download this excel file for free no charges and all this is my website and you go over here to the training files page and download the training file for free and yes if you believe that what I'm doing is right if you believe that what I'm doing is good and should be shared with the world then I would like you to go ahead and click over here and click uh, and follow me on Twitter this is my Twitter page not only follow but also sh retweet the work also you can go to my Facebook page from my website itself and once you click over here it will take you to my excel made easy facebook page and you can like us over here like me over here and uh, not only like me uh, you can also share my work which is more important and since you're watching this video on youtube you can subscribe by clicking over here so that whenever there is a new video uploaded by me which is almost every day you get to know about it and then you can also share my work uh, my motto is let's share knowledge so this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.